In today's video, I'm showing off this blackjack demo I made with C++. So we have two windows here. We have a console, and then we have an OpenGL window. And right now, this window doesn't display anything, but it just allows us to do inputs. So we, uh, we are dealt 7 of spades and our score 7. So if we just push H, it will hit. So we'll hit again, and we bust. And then once we bust or stand, it's the dealer's turn. So they got a 2, a jack, an ace, and a queen. So we both bust, and therefore it's a tie. So we can play again. Hit, hit. And you can see here, since we got an ace, that we started at 11, went to 13, 16. But then since we got an 8, that would put us at 24. So the ace became a 1. And that put us to 14. And then we got a 6, so our score is 20. So we'll stand. And the dealer got 17, so we won. Hit. All right, we bust there. So the dealer won. And let's just stand right away. So if you type S, you stood. And the dealer beat us. So if we escape, I'll explain how this works. So up at the top here, we have a card class, which stores a suit, a rank. And then it has two functions. One where it can print itself. And then the other where it returns value. So queen, king, jack, 10, I'll return 10, ace returns 0, which we'll explain why it does that, and then everything else is just its rank. We just, rank minus 0 just, just gets the number out of a character. Then we have a deck of 52 cards as an array, and it stores all the card types. And then we have this game, which has last input, take and turn, and then player score, dealer score, deck location, phase of game, and seed. So we have this void start game, which will set the seed to the current time and then use that to randomize the shuffle values. And like we'll shuffle the deck and then we set all these four scores to zero and then we run the play blackjack function. And in the game loop, which is called every frame, like the phase of the game is one, which is the dealer's turn. They'll just play blackjack and it's false, meaning it's not the player. If the phase of the game is 2, which is like the end of the game, if our score is higher than the dealer's score, we win. The dealer's score is higher, they win. Otherwise, it's a tie. And then we go to phase of the game 3. And then lastly, if it's neither of those, and last input is not a space, so it means we actually hit something and we've taken a turn, then we say we have. We set taken turn to false. We set the last input to a space again. And then we check. If we type H, we'll play jet blackjack with H. If we type S, we'll play blackjack with S. If we type P and the phase of the game is 3, we will restart the game and clear the screen. And then down here, the way play blackjack works is it takes in a move and a boolean if is player is true. So if the player stands, so it is the player and they choose S, we'll type stood and we'll pass the turn to the dealer and then we'll end the function. Otherwise, we create a score, then we set the score either to our, either to the player score if it's the player or the dealer score if it's the dealer. We add the value of the top card of the deck, and if it's an ace, we increase number of aces, which is a global variable by one, and our score by 11. And then down here, we just check if our score is over 21, we subtract 10 and remove a number of aces if we have an ace. So this is how if you play an ace, and then you would have bust, it will go down because it can be a 1 or 11. And then we just print what you're dealt. Either you are dealt this or the dealer is dealt this. And then we increase deck location by 1, which basically just removes the card from the top of the deck. And then if the score is greater than 21, if it's the player that did it, it's, we say you bust. We set the player score to 0. We, inc we pass the turn to the dealer and we return. Otherwise, we say the dealer busts. We set the dealer score to zero, the phase of game to two, and then end the function. And then this is what the the moves are for. So if it is the player and the move is X, it will just simply say, it will print this message telling you what to do, and then it will set the player score equal to score. So this is when we run it, this is what happens at the very beginning, like right here before you like interact or do anything. And then otherwise, if it's move H, then we don't print this and we just set the score and return and if it was s we stood at the top if it's not the player we don't care what you typed 
then it's just we set the dealer score equal to score. If the dealer score is greater than or equal to 17, uh, we pass the turn to like the final phase and we return. Otherwise, we just return and don't do that. And then down here, we have the process input. So we have three Booleans and that each function or each if statement has two parts. So there's a release and a press for each key. And when we press it, we set this to false. We set last input to H and take and turn to true if H pressed is true and H pressed is two as long as the key is released. So this basically just means if you push it once, it only triggers once, it doesn't trigger every frame. And the same is for the other two. Then in our main function, we initialize OpenGL, we create a window, we set the current context of the window, and then we set the size recall to this function that just lets us resize the window, just like this. And then we set up GLAD, then we create a game, we start the game, and we have this render, this while true loop, where we set the color of the screen to green, we process input, we run a game loop, we swap buffers, pull a fence, and at the end, we terminate. And that gives us the result you can see here. So if you enjoyed the video, click here to see this last video I made about Blackjack, where I show how to do it without OpenGL and just in C++. And this video is kind of an extension of that and making it more interesting. And maybe next week I'll post a video where I fully make it in OpenGL and have graphics. So until then, see ya!